If we could, for a moment, imagine that we had the vision to see really tiny things, to look at a cell as if it was the size of a bus, and then see what goes on inside the cell. What we'd see is that most of that cell is filled with fluid, and that within the fluid there were little organelles, tiny structures, each performing their function, each needing to be fueled, and each producing waste products of metabolism. For the fuel to get from the outside of the cell through all that fluid, the cytoplasm, and then to the organelles, and for the waste material to get from the organelles through all that cytoplasm and back out of the cell, requires and certainly is very much assisted by a little bit of movement. If the fluid is perfectly static, no movement whatsoever, no changes in pressure at all, then things can move through the fluid, but they move via diffusion. It's a slow process where the concentrations are greatest either at the cell wall moving in or at the organelles if it's waste material moving out. It's a slow process. But if we put the cell in motion a little bit and get the fluid inside moving, then the distribution is magnificently well multiplied and can happen at a much more efficient and rapid pace. Keep this in mind next time you wish to become well nourished and to become really efficient at eliminating toxins from your body. Across your forehead, perhaps it should read, shake well before using.